In this presentation we're going to look at cross-tabulation in SPSS. We are using version 19 and the data set we are using is iriscrosstab.sab. We have two categorical variables that of interest. We have species and predicted species. Let's look at the SPSS now. This is the uh, variable view and we have species there. It's a string and predicted species species which is also a string. It's also a categorical variable. So here's our data set here and we, what we are looking at is we also have the case numbers there but we're not going to look at them so much. We have the versicolor and predicted species, predicted type. Um, so for case 78 we uh, K78 has the value versicolor for species and uh, value 3 for predicted species. What we want to do is look at a, 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 a what we want is a way of looking at the membership for all 150 cases. There's 150 cases altogether and sort of see how they are jointly how each case is uh, jointly uh, categorized. So what we're going to do is go to, first off we go to Analyze, then we go to Descriptive Statistics, and we go to the fourth one here, Cross Tabs, Cross Tabulation. We're going to click on that. So what I have here is, I'm going to unselect both of them. So I'm going to put Species in the row and Predictive Type, Predictive Species in the column. There's a couple of options here, for example, I'm not going to look at any of those exact tests. Statistics, the chi-squared test, we could have correlation. Uh, I'm not going to look at any of those this time. Cells, what we could do there is put in the counts and the expected counts and we could also put in percentages. I'm going to put in total percentages but it's also possible to look at row percentages and column percentages. And I'm going to leave everything else. So continue, format, ascending, descending, I'm going to leave that alone. So we're, we are ready to go. We could also have uh, display clustered bar charts, but I'm going to leave that. So, OK. So let's have a look at the output here. So this is cross tabs. This first tells us how many valid observations we have. We have 150. We have no missing data. So the total is 150. Missing data is an important matter in each type of statistical calculation, see how many values you have. So what we have here now is the cross tabulation. So we have species by predicted type cross tabulation. In the first instance we have Satosa, this is the top row. We have 50 uh, that are also predicted type 1, 0 that are also predicted type 2, and 0 that are predicted type 3. Let's look at Versicolor. We have 0 that are also predicted type 1, 49 that are predicted type 2 and 1 that is predicted type 3 and lastly Virginica we have 15 that are predicted type 2 and 35 that are predicted type 3. We also have the uh, percentages of the overall total so out of 150 how many observations are both Satosa and predicted type 1? 33.3% how many are Virginica and predicted type 2? We have 15, which is 10%. We could have uh, percentages uh, related to the, the overall, the column total and the row total as well. I didn't use that this time. So that is how we might um, perform a cross tabulation of two predict uh, categorical variables. And that ends our presentation.